Eh, you're right, Sin. <laughs> but no sound. I've been talking, but no sound this whole time. Thank you for, uh, thank you for letting me know. I think I might have sound now. So, sorry about that. <laughs> I'm a professional. I'm not a professional. So anyway, as I was just saying, uh, they've added double length trailers to the game now. So, and I'm driving, I'm pulling one now. So we're going to New Mexico. <sighs> I'm glad there was someone here to actually tell me that there was no sound. Thanks, and I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, well, after that little bit of awkwardness. Oh, man. Ah, crap. <laughs> I may have really screwed this one up. Eh. Okay, come on. Go. All right, all right, all right. Don't get too close. <laughs> yeah, I did it. <laughs> Didn't scrape the trailer on the way. Okay, thanks, Sid. I appreciate you letting me know. Uh, oh well. Let's drive to New Mexico. I don't know what's there. It's mostly... <laughs> it's mostly desert. It's kind of like Arizona in that way. There's a lot of desert. There's a lot of other stuff, too. It's... It's got a... It's got a climate. Sorry, I'm adjusting my mic. So, right now I'm driving <laughs> like a complete moron. Anyway. Ah. Oh. Woohoo! So I think I just went for like 10 minutes without... <laughs> with no sound. It's fine. Nobody has to know. <laughs> we'll edit it out in post. Oh, wait. Oh, I do release it on YouTube later. Uh, is it gonna send me up there? That's really dumb. I don't want to do that. Okay, thank you. Why is the speed limit 55? This is not to reality standards. Also, I'm driving... I'm playing now completely without mods. Normally I use some mods. I do have some like graphical mods and stuff generally. And a couple of extra trucks. But I'm not using them because, well, if I did, the game would cry. And I guess I do have to get off here. Yeah. That's dumb. I forgot this freeway does not go around like it does in real life. Luckily, these toys are not very heavy. Dude, what are you, what are you doing? <sighs> okay, well, if everyone's just gonna wait, I'm just gonna go. Guess this makes no sense. <sighs> oh, video games. Hi, Sin. Sin is streaming. <laughs> Sin is also streaming. How do you do that? Do you stream at the same time? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Look at that. Oh no. I hit a truck with my trailer. Oh no. <laughs> well, that was fun. Alright. Uh, did I do any damage? Oh, yep, I've done 2% damage to the trailer. They're not going to be happy about that. Okay, 40 miles an hour? I guess that's a little more reasonable. Stoplight. I don't 
another one of these stoplights. Stop like to suck. Don't pull out in front of me, buddy. I know you see me. I'm an I am an enormous truck. And you are the AI, you should be aware of all positioning at all times. <laughs> so if you do pull out in front of me, it was intentional. There was no way it was an accident. Oh no. Just like real life, where nobody can get on the freeway at freeway speeds. Wow. And a little saving icon pop up in the corner. That's new. Must be telling you where it's auto saving. It's kind of handy, actually. Some things have changed. Ah. Okay. Now let's cruise. Let's ride. So Ian's been playing Sonic Forces lately on the uh, on the Twitch stream this week. It's the launch week of. Uh, Sonic Forces, and uh, it's going to be a while before we record a Bumblecast again. We've already recorded all all the episodes for November, and we recorded them before Sonic Forces even came out, so maybe a while before we even get the chance to talk about it on the show. We're not going to hear about it until December, sadly. That's some inside baseball for you. From what I have seen, I don't know. I can't take the story seriously at all. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I've heard there are some parts of it that are rage inducing. I have not gotten that far in the streams yet. I've only watched uh, the Tuesday night stream that he did so far. But, uh, yeah. What I have seen of the game, it doesn't look bad. But it doesn't look very great either. <laughs> I don't know how exactly to describe it. It's like they took Sonic Generations and kind of stripped it down. And then added in this really, 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 really fan fiction y story. Which is funny. <laughs> I will admit, it's uh, quite amusing. But. I also have a hard time taking it seriously. That's funny because, you know, Sonic has always been, well, not always, but there's been frequent times where Sonic is a resistance plot. Sad AM, comics, they've all had kind of the similar plots of, you know, a ragtag group of underground rebels trying to take down the massive empire. 
it's a, you know, it's a tried and true storyline. But for some reason, I just can't take it seriously. And from what I've seen in Sonic Forces, especially because you have yourself insert first Sonic character <laughs> that everybody loves and is the only one who can save Sonic. <laughs> it's like, holy crap. Someone took bad Sonic, bad self insert Sonic fan fiction and turned it into a game. <laughs> Like, oh, Sonic, he's been every other, every, <laughs> every villain from the, uh, every villain from the previous games has all come together and defeated Sonic, and Sonic is done for until you show up and save the day and you rescue him, and then he, uh, he and you team up and he stands, as he runs by your side and compliments you the whole time and says how great and amazing and awesome you are, and <laughs> like wow <laughs> catering to an audience much sonic team <laughs> i did see his character his character is pretty pretty funny i'm glad he didn't use the eyes eight the last i um the last eye selection you know, the one that's, like, the big dead eyes that kind of remind me of Tails doll. <laughs> Not the oval ones, the round ones. Uh, I'm glad he didn't use those because every other stream and gameplay video I've watched has made a character that uses those eyes. So I'm glad he ended up going with something a little bit different. But he made a purple cat, so hey, that's that's cool. Is Blaze in the game? She hasn't shown up yet from anything I've seen. I guess from what I've heard, everyone's there except Cream and Big. But I haven't seen Blaze yet. So maybe you know Sin. I guess you've been playing it too. We got a few minutes, we're still in Arizona, so we're not to the new content yet. Oh, you haven't been playing it? Who was playing it earlier then? I could have sworn I got a notification from you that you were playing Sonic Forces. Or are you playing Sonic Mania? Oh. Okay, okay. You were playing Mania, but I think tonight you were playing Forces. Well, it looks like it has some... There's some fun to be had, and it looks like it's got some stuff going on in... Uh, in terms of, you know, being kind of... Still Generations-y. But... Not quite, not not quite on the level of generations. Like, not as good. The level design seems kind of like not the level design that I've seen so far does not really impress me. But it doesn't look outright awful. Arcadey. I don't know how. Huh. Well, it's not like Generations was exactly a simulator. <laughs> it's a simulator of being Sonic. Ugh. 
a VR game as Sonic. Ugh, could you imagine that? Hmm, that sounds like it would be sickening. Where you're first person Sonic in VR. That'd probably just be one of the roller coaster VR games or something. Send some on. Mexico and for some reason that truck hit the brakes for no reason it's a Greyhound bus except it's not and that car has an Arizona license plate I'm not sure if that's thing, or I mean, I know it's a thing. I'm not sure if it was a thing before in the game originally. If the cars had state-specific license plates, I don't think they did. So that's new, or it might be new. I could be wrong. Ah, yes, this is definitely New Mexico. You know how I can tell. Oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Alarm's going off, except it's not. I can go by the way station, so I don't have to. That beeping's kind of obnoxious, but it is apparently true to reality, so. It's just telling me I don't have to go into the way station so they can weigh what's in my trailer to make sure I'm not carrying anything funny. I'm just carrying toys. But yeah, I can tell this is New Mexico because it's um, it's more barren and desert-like than Arizona. <laughs> it's it's very brown, very brushy. It's pretty flat for the most part. There's mountains, but it's at least this part of New Mexico, the southern part. It's really just like very open and brown but this is only one part of New Mexico so okay so we're getting into a city here Wee and there's a train Check this out. The train over there. Racing the train. Ah. And that's a very kind of a volcano-ish looking mountain over there. Hmm. Former volcano. <laughs> Just driving. Ah, it's green. It's a very sudden transition to green. Still flat though. <laughs> but at least there's some color. That's a sign that had milk on it. Whoop. Mm, I'm wandering. Wandering again. <laughs> Las Cruces. I used to have family that lived there. And then they left. I 
Yeah, it's definitely green now. It was brown, but now it's super green. Well, it's not bright, vibrant green, but it's green. That sign said El Paso on it. There's no El Paso. At least not yet. to Roswell. Oh. I discovered a city. <laughs> oh, oh. There we go. Turn my lights on. I made it to Las Cruces. Over the rumble strips, the wake up bumps. I don't think that's what they're called, but that's what I'm calling. <laughs> this road seems nor narrower, maybe, maybe not. And I think, no, 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 not that. No, not that. I need up here. Here we go. Oh, it's gonna force me off anyway. Yep. Invisible walls, well, semi-invisible walls. Won't let me go into Texas, because Texas does not exist yet. Sadly. Well... <laughs> me! Oh, I didn't do any damage, I'm gonna keep going! <laughs> And do any more damage. <laughs> Riding up on the wall. Whee! Almagordo? I don't think I'm going there. Ah! I have to stay in this lane because I have to get off. <laughs> I have to change freeways soon. Otherwise, I would have went around that guy, but I wouldn't have been able to get over so I could get off here. Oi, oi, oi. And people go speed limits on the freeway. Hmm. There's a 45 speed limit back there, but it still says it's 75. Oh, this is cool. This is a different freeway setup. They haven't really, yeah, they haven't really done a freeway setup like this in the other states. That's kind of neat. The way this game is made, from what I understand, they apparently do some they do certain custom things, but a lot of it is prefabricated assets. So you'll notice certain things look very similar or like identical, even in different areas of the map. Like you can be in a completely different city, state, whatever, and something will look just like it does in another city or state. Mostly uh, places where you drop off stuff jobs and stuff this has or uh, rest areas or hotels and stuff will look kind of the same certain sections of road will look familiar some of the freeway segments will look pretty similar you'll notice um well, I don't have a license to drive a truck, so maybe that answers your questions then. Not in real life. So maybe I shouldn't be driving one in the game. But hey, I am anyway. That's really weird. Huh, that's strange. 
Is that over there? It looks like a rest area, but it's like blocked off. Oh. I guess for the New Mexico DLC, they've added a whole bunch of new um, prefabricated assets and some new ways of like doing freeway interchanges and stuff that make them look make it look different. Or they're able to customize it more so it can look more realistic. Which is cool. Like that freeway interchange back there when I got off when I got off the 10 onto whatever freeway this one is. 70 I guess. <laughs> that was different. Oop. Let off the clutch, stall the truck. It's just like real life. See if this guy wants to race off the line. Wanna race? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's beating me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm pulling ahead. <laughs> Which I kinda knew I would. Because my truck has like massive amounts of torque. Although not as much as my uh, other truck that I think makes the game crash, <laughs> sadly. Sin, you should play this game. You might, some people might look at it, actually a lot of people would look at it and think, man, that game looks dumb, why would I play that game? It's nice, actually. <laughs> It's pretty cool. The environments are well rendered. It looks nice. It's and it's surprisingly fun. It's relaxing, you know. If you want to play it, if you want to just play it as a driving simulator, just to drive, yeah, that's fine. Normally, I'd play with like some music or a podcast or something, but obviously streaming. I probably could like put on some VGM that nobody. <laughs> video game music remixes that I don't think anybody would copyright claim, but nah. Uh, nah, I don't want to send you a computer. They can put it on consoles. I think they talked about doing that at one point with, with Euro Truck Simulator, but I don't, <laughs> I don't think it happened. And I don't know if it will. It could. <laughs> Farming simulators on consoles. Oh, I'm in Alamogordo. Cool. Alright. Green arrow. And I don't mean the superhero. There's a bird there, a turkey. There's a turkey there. Yeah, no farm farming simulators on consoles. Play that. Good <laughs> goat simulator. <laughs> Farm simulator, farming, farm simulator is actually a farming simulator, but goat simulator is not in a <laughs> simulation of being a goat. Could you imagine if goat simulator was actually a simulation, a realistic simulation of a goat? It might be the most boring game ever created. Roswell's far. Okay, gonna have to shift soon. Gonna have to shift up. No, I can't actually. No, don't shift. I'll just ride high. Them RPMs high.
I have not played enough Goat Simulator. Obviously, it's a parody of simulator games. I have to point this out. It's not a real Goat Simulator. Because all if you were, if it were a real simulation of a goat, you would just be sitting around all day eating, eating hay, and laying there, and going bah. There would not be real goat happening. Okay. We're getting into some city here. Some kind of... Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. It's a burger joint. <laughs> a substitute. A substitute simulator. That's fine. Socorro Roswell. Tukumkari? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I think it's Socorro. And then we got Roswell. It's getting dark too, and we're heading into Roswell, so maybe we'll see something. Maybe we'll catch a glimpse of the uh, of what Roswell is famous for, which is to say, a late '90s TV show. <laughs> a late '90s TV show piggybacking off the success of X Files. And Independence Day, for that matter. The movie, not the actual, not the date. <laughs> Some random cones there. So based on what I've read, they've added um, special random events that can happen in traffic or on the road that aren't always there, which is new. They hadn't really had any um, special things like that where, like, you know, there's an accident and a... traffic will get backed up or there'll be a diversion there'll be some random construction going on that isn't always there because usually the constructions construction in this game is like always there it doesn't really go away but now it sounds like there's some random road events that happen that you can trigger or that will be triggered automatically which is kind of cool so, like, you may come across a car getting pulled up onto a tow truck. Because it died in the middle of the road, or there was a wreck, or something like that. Just random things that'll happen, just like real life. It's so real. Billy the Kid historical exhibit. Uh-oh. Making a left turn. Not yet, though. I have to cross a fairly busy highway for 9 o'clock at night. Let's see. Oh, y'all. First, first gear. So I have some torque. Oh boy, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> Construction is always there, so it plays like Pennsylvania and every other state. Because, <laughs> well, there's always something under construction here in Phoenix, and there's always something under construction when I lived in California. It's always under construction all the time. Everywhere, all the time. <laughs> oh, I made 13 here. There we go. 
Why am I in 13th gear? Now I'm in 13th gear legitimately. So that speed limit sign said 75 back there, and yet the in game GPS is still saying it's 70. So I'm thinking that's a bug. It's really dark. It's really quite dark out here. Let's see if we can spot anything of the. Uh... Oh, now it's 60. Slow down a bit, I guess. Let's see if we can have any close encounters out here. thing I don't like about this game much is that the speed limits will frequently change. Like, it's realistic. They change at realistic points. But because the map is condensed, you come upon speed changes faster. So, like, you'll be going highway speeds and then all of a sudden you'll get into a town and it'll go from 75 to 25 and you're like, ah! Yeah. Some around here it's like road resurfacing sometimes or well now since they've got the interstate here. Uh d doing massive construction on the interstate here for the next couple of years. That makes things a little interesting, especially on the weekends where they close it down for uh, the entire weekend. So if you want to drive on the weekends, then good luck. They're connecting two freeways that no, were, weren't connected before. Or were, but they're building an extension to one of them. So it'll be nice when it's done. It just sucks that it's going to take two years to get here. Oh yeah, that's a problem. I forgot. <laughs> Pennsylvania's, uh, I'm sure Pennsylvania's road infrastructure and everything there is... Certain things can be a little outdated. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. East Coast is a lot older than the West Coast, so... Most every road around here is modern. Yeah, there aren't many one ways here. But I've driven through like New York and uh, uh, Virginia. I've seen the roads there and yeah, they don't look like fun. Here we are in Roswell, New Mexico. Uh, I don't know. You might hate it here. <laughs> in fact, you probably would. You probably would, Sin. I'm sad to say. Do you like it when the temperature gets into triple digits? If you don't, you would hate it here. <laughs> I don't like it either, for that matter, though, so I don't think anybody likes it. So if you want temperatures, the heat, then deal with the cold? No. So yeah, I like the cold. I, I don't like the heat. And, I grew up in Arizona, 
but I, I'm still not a fan of heat at all. Do not like, do not want. Oh, cool. I found the hiring center. If I wanted to hire another driver, you know, someone to do my job for me, so I don't have to do it myself. I rediscovered a recruitment agency. That's true. It would be nice to, uh, <laughs> at least be closer to that side of the country. Make it a lot easier to do certain things. Logistically. You know, we could actually... Ian and I would actually be able to do, uh... <laughs> do streams in person every once in a while. Like this week, if I could be there for, any, for the Sonic Forces stuff. That would be fun. But alas. Maybe I'll turn up and chat tomorrow night. I can't actually go on stream with him, sadly. Since he's playing on PS4, and I don't think PS4 has any sort of voice chat capabilities with non-PS4s. <laughs> Couldn't go straight even if I wanted to. We're almost ready to deliver some toys. Toys for the children's. Is there like a party chat feature soon that lets you uh, voice chat with other PS4s? Or I can like stream with them. I think the only way we could, like, the only way we've been ever able been to, like, stream together on our own systems is with DC Universe, because, well, it's on both consoles and PC. Although I heard they're setting down the PS3 servers for that game soon. I saw that announcement and was like, oh, man, they're shutting down that game? That kind of sucks. And then I realized it was PS3 servers, and I'm like, oh, well... That's not as bad. Okay. Here we go. Let's drop off some toys at the wall, Bert. <clears throat> I have no reason to get a PS4. <laughs> I have no reason to have video games, except I kind of do. But I'm like... I have so little time to play games, and I have such a huge backlog that a new console would just, wouldn't help the problem at, at all. Like, if I got a new console, it would just sit there. I haven't played hardly any of my PS3 games. I'm really bad about buying games and sticking them on a shelf and just never playing them. So, I figured the best way to avoid that is to just not buy consoles. So, I don't have a Switch either. Alright, I got so many freaking games. Just never enough time to play them. Oh, come on. There we go. I mean, they are getting pretty cheap now. PS4 is getting cheap. I leveled up. All right. Man, I've almost maxed out everything. Jeez. Uh, just in time delivery. Mm. I'll go ahead and put a thing in here. I, didn't, I wasn't doing this because... I wasn't doing just-in-time deliveries because they're uh, usually, like, you get a job and you have to go, <laughs> like, immediately. You have to start driving, driving, driving like crazy. And uh, I didn't want to do that, but yeah, we'll at least unlock the first level of jobs. Oh, I'm, I like the Switch. 
I'd love to get a Switch, but I'm just like, I I have no time <laughs> to sit there and play. <sighs> to sit there with it and play with it as much as I would love to. All right. Let's see if we can find an in-state job here. I'll drive around a little more. I have no in-state jobs. Holy crap. Well, that sucks. And I'm not going all the way back to California. And I'm definitely not going all the way to Jackpot. Jeez. Redding. No. Really? Is the closest the closest job is to Kayenta. Well, you know, that's not actually that bad. I probably won't even get there tonight. Yeah, I wish I could stream as much as you do, Sin. <laughs> it would be it would be fun. I'd like to do that. Yeah. Can't go up this way. Guess I better back up. <laughs> nah, oh well. <laughs> okay. Shifting. Steering. I hope it's not too noisy. <laughs> when I shift and turn the wheel. You might be able to hear it a little. Yeah, that's kind of what Ian and I are trying to do, but we're also trying to balance it with uh, having a, a job that isn't this. And sadly, the job that isn't this tends to crave more attention. And I don't want to say, quote, I don't want to say a real job because I hate that. I'd love it if we could do <laughs> more, if we had time to do more stuff, more bumble casty stuff. Heck, if we just had time to do the bumble cast more often, that'd be awesome, but mm, theoretically we could make it work, but I don't know. Logistically, it's tough. Ian and I have talked about doing some other stuff. There's been some thoughts tossed around. There's some things we want to do, and hopefully we can do them. It's just going to take some time to get all the logistical issues sorted. And then just try it out and see how it goes. But we had some ideas. Uh, 
I think I can speak for Ian and say we 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 both appreciate that sin. We're doing our best over here. All right. Let's see what uh, goodies we got here. Come on. There it is. <laughs> so many buttons. Already made that joke. It's barely a joke. Uh, oh well. Where's the trailer? It must be over here. There it is. I get to take some construction equipment. I'm just perpetuating the issue. I'm taking construction equipment. I'm delivering construction equipment. I am perpetuating the problem. Oh, and I hit the horn. All right, here we go. And bonk. Mm, there we go. We've had a lot of support, which has been awesome. So, I am grateful for that. <laughs> I'm glad that, like, when the, uh, <laughs> let's get some, I guess I'll get serious for a minute. <laughs> I'm glad that, uh, when the comic ended, when the announcement came through that, uh, the uh, comics were ending. I think Ian and I were both a little worried. I don't think I know. Ian and I were both a little worried that uh, people might like jump ship or we'd not be interested anymore. It was just that weird thing, that feeling of like, huh. But no, it was the uh, exact opposite, in fact. We got more support than ever after that, and everybody's been really supportive and sticking around ever since, so... I think we're both pretty grateful for that. <laughs> This is a little interesting what I end up talking about while playing this game on stream because I've streamed it before I streamed it back in January New Year's actually New Year's Eve yeah I streamed it for New Year's Eve and uh, that was fun but yeah I'm just like talking now stream of consciousness kind of because well <laughs> i'm just driving i'm not doing anything fancy and uh you can't see much anyway because it's freaking dark see it's dark <laughs> So I might need that. I'm just gonna keep it. I'll just keep it pegged because I'm going up this hill here. Hmm. All right. Change lanes.
I'm going back the way I came. This is the way I went to get here. Fascinating. Maybe I'll drive in that place one day. Someday. I might actually have to close this down pretty soon. When did I start? Like an hour ago? It's been about an hour. It's kind of dark. Maybe I'll take a rest just to bump it up eight hours ahead and then drive a little more. Just so, it's, so I can actually get during the daytime instead of at night. Get a I'll get to a rest stop, maybe. There might be one coming up here. And I'll stop. I've turned off the need to sleep. But I can at least sleep to jump ahead in time, so I'm not driving in the dark. Oh yeah, I've seen some of the story continuations. There's actually uh, at least I think one comic continuing the pre-reboot story, which is interesting. I've seen some of that. I think Ian tries to avoid that for tries to avoid looking at that stuff. Not because you know he's a jerk or anything but I think he's been through he's discussed this several times he doesn't want to uh, you know get in any legal potentially legal hot water for quote unquote stealing someone's idea so But yeah, people have been pretty understanding for the most part. Oops, wrong button. People have been mostly understanding and supportive, which is awesome. There have been a few people here and there that were getting uppity, but you know, that's the internet. It's not a big deal. Honestly, I think the move to IDW will be a ultimately a great thing in the end for the for the license. <laughs> to be honest with you, I think in the hands of IDW, it's it's destined for some great things. And there's going to be characters that I will miss. I will miss the heck out of some of the characters, but. I think the new characters there's a lot of potential in the new characters too in new characters and we know Ian Ian has a proven track record of making some awesome characters so I have no doubt he'll keep that up and there'll be some really good really good ones <laughs> in uh, in the new stories so I'm looking forward to it certain lane. Do I have to park over here? Whee! Am I gonna jackknife the trailer? Nope. Okay, good. Do I have to park here? Is this the... Yep. Okay. Cool. Oh. <laughs> I keep hitting that button. I keep trying to... <laughs> okay. There we go. Cool. 
All right, now it's daytime, yay. <laughs> I didn't need to sleep, but I did. So there. All right. Well, they can see, so that's a good sign. I'll play for a little while longer so you can actually, you know, see. So I've been playing in the dark for a little while. Jump the curb. All right. Oh, I, had a, I got one of my drivers leveled up. Yay. I, I don't really. <laughs> hey, to be honest, I hardly ever pay attention to any of my drivers that are <laughs> just doing things. Let's let them do their thing. Make me a little extra money on the side. Yeah. Official word from IDW, I think, <laughs> is that they are aware of the demand for the Freedom Fighters, but I do not have any inside baseball on, uh, <laughs> on what, if anything, will come of that. But IDW is certainly aware. But yes, I'm actually honestly surprised too. I, I kind of thought people were like, oh, the Freedom Fighters, like the main, the core Sonic fan, like isn't even aware of the Freedom Fighters. I could be wrong. I, I, I probably am wrong about that. I know people who play exclusively the games and don't read any of the comics. Don't know about them. Or like the really young kids who are just getting introduced to Sonic and maybe they've only ever played the games. They haven't read the comics yet. <clears throat> Something like that. It's really always been really weird to me that they have never never capitalized on the characters of the comics of the freedom fighters at the very least that it, they've made cameos at best in spin-off games like spinball like they just appear float away they don't do anything uh, it's weird the way they get treated. What's with this cop doing like 40? Oh well, I'm passing a cop. What's he gonna do, pull me over? No, I have cops turned off. Did they make an official Sally plushie? Huh. I didn't know that. Oh, I know the demand for Sally is big, but the demand for Sally has always been big. She's very popular. Ah, oh, I didn't know that. I have the Sonic and Tails plush from that era. The ones from the 90s. The really ugly Sonic and the halfway decent Tails. <laughs> really, the Sonic is a little rough. His spine specifically, his quills. Socorro. So I discovered a city and there's like almost no, almost no city. 
This is kind of what I remember from New Mexico. It's like, there was like no... <laughs> the metro, there are no metropolitan areas of the places that I've driven through in New Mexico. They're just like small cities. They're not really... I've never been to Albuquerque. I would assume that's a, a big city style city. But maybe we'll actually drive through there. Maybe I'll get there. Oh yeah, I've had them since the mid 90s. They're over 20 years old at this point. The plushes that I have. They're worn out. They're, you know, they were toys for a kid. I was a kid when I had them, so they're not. They have wear. They're actually not in too bad of condition. I didn't like, you know, gnaw off Sonic's nose or anything. It just has some. It's kind of. I don't want to say matted. I don't think that's the right term, but his... His plushness is kind of worn. I think Tails has held up a little bit better. <laughs> Granted, I had Sonic for like a year or two longer than I had Tails. I always wanted a Knuckles plushie, but it never... They didn't have them at that time. And never gotten one. This is looking a little more city-like here. Am I actually getting into Albuquerque? Yes, I am. Well, let me go through Albuquerque and then call this on the other side. I'll drive through Albuquerque here. Whee! <laughs> Cut that guy off. Oh well, he was in my way. What's he gonna do about it? He's a computer. Ah. Okay. I'll check that out after the show soon. Appreciate that. I wonder if there's any going on eBay or anything. I wonder how much they're going for these days. <laughs> Might be quite a bit. I want a Nicole plush. That'll never happen, but I want one. Unless I hop on Etsy or something, someone's doing one. Okay, this interchange is very different from other ones. That's pretty cool. That freeway interchange. That's neat. They specifically called that one out in some of the early blog posts, developer blogs for this game. They called out that interchange there, and it's very different. It's like a custom interchange instead of a prefabricated one, so it's, you know, actually unique and looks cool. And it's huge. So, pretty awesome. All right. Well, this is Albuquerque, I guess. <laughs> it's a city, kinda. It still looks pretty sparse, which is probably true in reality, too. I don't think Albuquerque is enormous. Whoa, there was some pop in there. <laughs> I haven't quite, it's ever seen, I haven't quite seen pop in like that in this game. That was some Daytona USA on the Sega Saturn style pop in almost. Ah, game crowdfunding. <laughs> it's fun. It's a good time until you get something like Mighty Number no. Nine. Oh, 
there have been some there have been lots of good games that have come out of crowdfunding. Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight's awesome. Game of the century. Maybe at least game of the decade. We'll go with that. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off the freeway here. And I think with this, I'll call it a night. So, I'll, I'll, I'll do some legit... Like, I won't just stop in the middle of the freeway. I could, but I won't. I'll actually go and park. It's gonna be a little more realistic. Yeah, okay. There's actually a way station here. That's interesting. It seems like it'd be a real pain to have to get off the freeway and go to, over to here. Let's find a place to park. I mean, I drove by several. But now I'm just driving around. I'm just gonna drive. <laughs> I'm just gonna go fast. I'm gonna go fast. <laughs> oh, you want me to? You want me to cause an accident? You want me to wreck it? I'm gonna wreck it. Actually, you know what? I'll save it first, and then I'm gonna wreck it. Just for fun. This is a good way to. Sh just a good way to close out the stream. I'll go wreck it. <laughs> uh, okay. And we'll say. KG five and then yeah, good enough. Okay. Did you know I'm an instructor? Instructor, according to this up here, it says I'm an an instructor. That's not true. I am not a trucking instructor by any means. <laughs> I couldn't drive even if I wanted to. Anyway, yeah, so I saved, so I'm going to go and uh, cause some mayhem for a little bit. For, for a minute. <laughs> okay. Alright. Let's party. I'm just going to, I'm going to drive around here a little bit. I'm going to drive in this empty lot. For fun. See if I can get up on two wheels. Or, well, more than two, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Alright, so we're cruising through parking lot at 50 miles an hour, taking massive turns. Whoa, I got a little squirrely there. Alright, well, let's head this way. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I'm just driving. I'm foot to the floor. I'm just going for it. <laughs> let's get out on the freeway. Cause some. Let's have some fun. To close this out. You know. Let's have a good time. Let's drive over here. Why not? It's fun. There's like nothing on the freeway. <laughs> Let's go the wrong way. What's up, guys? Beep beep. Hello, Mustang. Yep. Up, up. <laughs> All right, got it pegged. Here we go. 
gotta go fast. Oh, gotta shift. Now I gotta go fast. Oh, okay. There's no speed limit. <laughs> nice thing is, when you're going on the wrong side of the road, there's no speed limit. <laughs> when you're going backwards. <laughs> Whee! Okay. Let's see how fast we can go. <laughs> oh. oh! Oh no! I think I'm done. <laughs> I think I'm done. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm trying to start it. <laughs> it doesn't want to start. <sighs> Yay. <laughs> doesn't want to start. <laughs> I thought sometimes you could get it to start with uh, that much damage. But it doesn't seem to want to. Nope. That might be it. I'm cranking it. I'm cranking it. It doesn't want to start. It doesn't want to move. Oh, I can actually get it to move in first gear. <laughs> I can still move. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go! Oh man! Oh! <laughs> Am I 100% damaged? No! 96! Need more. Oh crap! Oh crap! I'm driving! I don't believe it! <laughs> it actually started! <laughs> and I still have gears! I'm still able to shift! Okay. I'm still going! <laughs> <laughs> I'm still going. I'm gonna keep it going. So I was able to get it started back up. I'm gonna keep it going, but I can't let off the gas. Oh crap. Okay. I am. Okay. I don't have high gears. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> I. Uh, I have 13. The highest gear I can get up to is 13. <laughs> so I have a effective limit of 48 miles an hour. <laughs> oh, my engine's really bad. Uh, my transmission is screwed, man. I cannot shift into anything higher than 13. I'm supposed to have 18 gears. Currently, I only have 13. 100% damage! Yay! I did it! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh oh. Come on! Start! Start! Damn you! Start! Start! Blah, 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 blah. No! Come on! Oh, there's a truck in the middle of the road. I didn't cause that. Yay! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Start up! Put it back in first. Or third. Whatever. Come on, come on, come on, I dare you. Ugh. Ugh. Come on. No! <laughs> uh, shoot. It's pretty funny how I can move like one mile an hour <laughs> while I'm quote unquote dead. All right. Nope, nope. <laughs> I'm going again. See how many gears I don't have now. <laughs> I can hear the engine cutting out real bad. <laughs> oh, it's not happy with me. It's like... <laughs> it's really bad. Oh, no. It's cutting out really bad. Oh, nope. I only have 10 gears now. <laughs> and it's like... <laughs> this isn't good. This is not good at all. Uh, keep it going. 
Alright. <laughs> I'm driving. Only 29% damage to the trailer. What the heck? Come on. Don't fail me now. <laughs> oh, I can see it overheating. The battery is... I, if you look down there on the dash, if you look down, oh, yeah, you can see down here on the dash some red lights. <laughs> I am overheating this thing badly. The water temperature is just about pegged. Yep, there it is. <laughs> this is telling me, hey, you're overheating. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, it's trying to come back. No, it doesn't explode, sadly. No, the damage model of this game, it doesn't really have one. Like, if I were to go outside, here we are, outside the truck. That's a rare sight. There's no damage on it or anything, even though I just ran into a whole bunch of cars. I'm just coasting on momentum now. I'm in neutral. Up. <laughs> oh. Now I'm suddenly going zero. Up, oh, up. Oh. oh. Oh, my brakes are actually stuck. Oh. Well, that's bad. <laughs> now I really can't move. <laughs> My brakes are stuck closed. <laughs> so I can't even move trying to start it anymore. <laughs> I've never had that happen. Wow. <laughs> Well, that was fun. I might do that to end out streams from now on. <laughs> Let's load my old save before we go. There we go. Good as new. It's like nothing ever happened. All right. Well, thanks for hanging out with me, Sin. And we got a second watcher now. Hello, second watcher. I'm not sure who is hanging out here, but... Oh, it's me. <laughs> is it me? No, it's not me. I'm not watching it. I'm watching via the restream, but I'm not watching on the Twitch. Oh, well, anyway. Thanks for tuning in to 